tutorial. I do apologize that it has been a couple of months since I've actually have been on. So this is the much requested scarf tutorial. I will promise I will make it as simple as possible. Please feel free to drop any comments, um, any questions that you may have. Uh, this particular scarf, um, you will be able to rock it with any type of outfit that you could complement it with. If you can make pants, you can make matching sets. That's one thing that I have done. I This is not my design. I just happened to see, see it on um, Pinterest and then I just decided to make it my own. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So one thing that you will need, okay, is, let's see, let's see, let's see. You will need your answer face and fabric, okay? Now, I'm so sorry that my bootleg camera situation, I have to try to fix it the best way that I can. But yes, you will need your interface and fabric, your scissors, of course, your ruler. You will definitely need your ruler and any type of situation where you can measure. So my pattern, your initial pattern will look like this. This, this is it, a square and a long rectangular shape, <laughs> okay? So what you would initially do is when you're trying to measure or however far that you want your uh, neck piece to be, of course you would just measure, you know? So if you want yours, depending on where you would want it to fall, and excuse me, my baby may walk into the video, but like if you want yours to kind of fall about here, then obviously you wanna make yours about 27 inches long. Mine's at this moment, um, it's only 20 inches long. So I will initially begin to measure the length of this about, you know, however long you want it, but mine's is just for example sake, 20 inches. And the width of this is about 15. Now if you want, you can make the square wider you know and then obviously you know at the tip here I have this thing where it's called loop loop baby girl please do not okay she's trying to wait to y'all but she's a little shorty she's way down there <laughs> so okay so what you're initially going to do is you're going to you know cut your pattern this portion right here just to kind of let you know you want to see her now because I'm lowering the camera <laughs> so Let's just say if I was to just kind of break it at where that square is, let's say this falls to be about, about 14 inches. And mind you, the whole thing is about 20, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your pattern, okay? Like I said, 20 by 15. What I initially did, I mean, with these patterns, you know, you can just kind of eyeball, you know. Um, I always said that in my last tutorial. But what you're going to initially do is you're going to place this edge, this edge of it here, the opposite of the square, on the fold, okay? So once you place that on the fold, I'm trying to find the edge of my fabric, wherever it may be, yes, right here. You're going to place it on the fold, and you're just going to begin to cut, okay? So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and start. I'm gonna just probably make mine a little bit longer because I want it to have a dramatic flare. So like I said, this is your pattern. You can just, you know, so now I'm going up about 10 inches. Okay. And you're just gonna go ahead and up around the neck part. I will thin because that part is gonna go around your neck, okay? And so here I have my pattern. I'm just going to go ahead because I'm trying to angle it here. I don't want to angle it. I just want to be straight. There. Okay. So what you want to initially do is going to look like that. Okay. I've had this fabric forever. I've, I've literally had some naturally curly. <laughs> Wet and good. Now that we've cut it we can actually go to our sewing machine so what you're going to do is you want to leave an opening so you can turn it right sides out so you want to just make sure you can turn it right sides out so you want to just make sure like for me with my fabric um this is it's already right sides in and i can tell sometimes just by how the ink looks on the inside once you've been working with on car fabric you can just kind of tell so yeah so anyway what you're going to initially do is 
you're going to sew, 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 sew. You want to keep an opening so that you can at least uh, turn it right sides out, okay? So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go to our machine. If you feel, if you need to, you can oh, definitely yeah. make sure that you pin, you know? Uh, so that way everything, all the edges and stuff can stay together. After you do that, you are initially going to create the loop. So once you've, you've sewn it all together, you turn it right sides out, you are initially going to, uh, what I also like to do is I don't like to sew this. So when it's turned right sides out, and I will show you this portion here, sorry, I like to just keep this like there so that when I do get a chance, I can just do uh turn the seams inside and make it you know make it nice and clean so we'll go ahead and get that started and we'll be right so back. what we're going to do now is we're going to set up our sewing machine always want a back tack if i can find my foot cutter one fourth of an inch you can use more it's just I didn't allow that much seam allowance so I'm just gonna not talk while I'm sewing So again, I've sewn along the edge of here. I'm going to leave my opening somewhere around this edge here. So we're just going to keep going. Always want to back tack, kind of lock your stitches into place. Now, a lot of times what I find people don't do is they don't tell you about tension and stuff. So if anybody was to ask, I mean, I, I'm just using a 2.5. I mean, I just cut on my machine. I didn't even change it. So I just kept it on 2.5. So that means that my stitch is going to be kind of close. Um, I have it on uh, in between um, like three and a half, four. So, you know, so I, I wanted to kind of make sure that it does not, you know, rip on me. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I have the camera. <laughs> I said I was going to leave that open. That's what I was going to do. But I have an issue because I want to keep going and I'll be mad because, you know, we do silly stuff all the time when we sew. So I'm just going to make sure I follow my own advice. Leave that open. I forgot the back tack. Tack. <laughs> Use matching thread. You want to do that. Always something. That tells me it's the bottom. So we're good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this inside out because we're not done here. So it's just going to be a quick tutorial. So you're just going to turn it right sides out. Make sure that you're watching your stitches and you're not rushing. And I'm going to show y'all my steam press too. And I, I will actually tell you that I use my steam press in more than one way. I also make t-shirts. A awesome sewing friend told me about a hack and I got everything at a good price that allowed me to. So, without further ado, what you are going to do is give this a good press. 
So we're gonna go ahead and be right back. Hey y'all, so this is my steam press. I love this bad boy. So when you need to just get something just flat real quick, I'm trying to tell you, go on your local let go offer up apps and see if you can find one. I nabbed this baby for $25. Yes, $25, and it's normally uh, a 200 no, 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 it's generally, yeah, $200 machine, straight up, just like that. You can opt to have the steam in, the steam out, whatever you need to do, but you can just go ahead and get this a good press, because that's what we're going to do. Bam, that's it. Gets real hot, that's all I need to do. I started to have some difficulties with my sewing machine, so it looks like I'm going to have to get a new machine, like what is that? The day I finally decided to do a tutorial, my machine just wants to go haywire. Isn't that ironic? But, you know, maybe that's just God's way of saying, you know, you just need you need to go ahead and just bless yourself with a new machine. First, I wanted one because I wanted one. <laughs> Rambling. So, anyway, I gave this bad boy a good press. We're going to go ahead and cut that off. And I'll be back. So, the next thing that you're going to initially do is this little close edge here. You're just going to take your time. And you want to fold that in but in my case if i have my scissors i need to just cut it a little bit all right so what you're going to do you're going to make sure that you start with this free edge here and you're just going to take your time and you know fold that in so this one i did a little bit too small but again like you said you can always make the um this edge here as wide or as skinny as you want it to be so in my case because I'm just doing this normally if I'm doing this on my own it would be just such an easy project I mean done within this maybe like 10 minutes if that you know my machine is going haywire so we'll see what it'll let me do for some reason my needle is making this weird noise and it's kind of like grinding and it's never done that before so I was I just got finished basically sewing some gowns from prom season so there could be sequins or whatever down there, but however, what it takes to repair these things is not worth getting them fixed half the time. So anyway, you wanna go ahead and just start sewing. I'm gonna just go really slow. Here it grinding. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and cut your threads. The next thing that you're just going to do, you know, you would take your scissors, cut off that any loose threads that you had. You want to make it as clean as possible. So, and this is something you can just add to your um, your project. So what I do is with this loop here, I just take it. So what you want to initially do with this edge here is you're going to be, I'm going to show you, you're going to end up tucking this part of it in there when you rock it around your neck so we're just going to go ahead and just do one stitch across here mind you if you had matching threads it would go perfect so that's what i'm going to do next yes so what you're going to do and i made this shirt y'all wife mom designer student future nurse but simply me so yes I make the shirts, I make t-shirts. If y'all wanna see videos of me make t-shirts, I got y'all. So anyway, you're just gonna flip it around your neck, okay? Same edge that you see here, this edge here, put that around your neck, bam. Tuck it through. Now mind you, you can add interfacing, guys. So that's one thing that I meant to add in there. If you want, you can add interfacing and then, you know, it can make it stiffer, you know? So that right there. Try to get my little light so you can get my Hi. So yes, this is the scarf. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. Try to get my little light so you can get my this is the scarf. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial.